Okay, so we're gonna tap this tree. It's a little small to tap, but it's on the line. Okay, so we got a 36 inch drop line with a 3 16th spile on it. And we're just gonna put a T on the end. It's a sanitary T, so at the end of the season, you can put the end of your thing in there for storage. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. You can do these at home. Line it up there. Press that on. And then take this. So I'll make another video on how to make these uh, drop lines pretty easy. It's easier to make them inside. Give me a little bit of sap coming out. You can do this before the sap runs. So this tool is specially made for splicing that T into the line. So we're gonna clamp it on, we're gonna cut it. And when you cut it, it takes out a little piece of line. It's really running. And when you put it together, it tightens the line. So we're gonna put our T in there, line it up first, squeeze it together. And we'll drill our hole in the tree. It's a 1964 high-speed steel bit just for 3 16 spiles. Creates a tight seal so there's no vacuum leaks because this is a natural vacuum system. Two inches in on a little bit of an angle down. Just a couple little taps. That's it. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Beautiful day. Chasing us down the line here. Look at this, we just tapped that a couple minutes ago. And it's filling up, it's coming down. So there's 30, I think 30 trees on this line. Okay, so this is where we got the tank set up. Uh, we get the tank into the bush with this ditch which it goes through quite a bit of snow. Um, and then we're gonna probably take the sap out either with a bigger track loader just from that tote or with that tote or we're just gonna put like a 50 gallon tank in this sleigh and pull it with the snowmobile. It just depends on how much how long the snow stays and that type of thing. Okay so it's February 26. We've got 30 taps on this 3 16 inch line and it's running pretty good. Natural vacuum. Probably gonna put a little diaphragm vacuum pump on this. Um, yeah, it's going pretty good. About two, three o'clock in the afternoon.